Let's, let's get on to the games this week. There are just a couple really big ones we want to touch on. Uh, first off, a huge contest in, contest in the SAC because um, Dwinger at Wayne, if you're Wayne and you want to win an SAC championship, this is a must-win game to a certain degree if you're Scott Shaw and the Generals. Yeah, you know, after last week's loss, they really have to clean some things up defensively. they got to figure something else out. You know, they were giving a lot of points up before last week, but it was something where they were just outscoring opponents. But last week, when you get you get 69 dropped on you, uh, all of a sudden you got to figure out, what are we doing wrong? Do we need to make some personnel changes? I, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. They're so thin uh, on the sidelines, it's not like they can make wholesale ch- you know, substitutions, substitutions and changes. You know, do they have, are they just wore out? Uh, the guys playing both ways kind of use a defense to kind of rest up for offense. You know, I don't really know. But uh, you're facing a, a Dwanger team that, you know, not known for putting big points up. But I thought this year they have a different dynamic in that they have a quick strike offense, you know, with those running backs. They can really outrun some guys that they haven't been able to in years past. So that's a team that could easily drop 50 on, on Wayne. Um, so Wayne has to figure something else out. They're not going to win the SAC in this second half part of the year if they're having to outscore opponents, which is exactly what they've had to do so far. Yeah, and for Wayne, really, a crucial week because the Snyder game is looming at the end of the season in Week 9. You can't go into that Snyder game with two losses in the SAC the way the SAC does everything. Yeah. That's just impossible, basically, or things would have to fall exactly perfectly yeah. right, like you're playing Tetris and uh, you're waiting for that four-block <laughs> cube to go down the side. You're you putting everything on the side, stacking exactly. it up. Exactly, exactly. You don't want that to happen. Uh as far as Wenger goes, they had a tough week against LaSalle. I was there for uh, most of the second quarter, uh, a little bit of the first quarter. They were uncharacteristically unsaint-like in that they made some turnovers and made some mental mistakes that they don't generally make Friday in and Friday out. Do you feel like that's something that should concern Coach Schwarzkopf, or is it more of a byproduct of how good LaSalle was? Because LaSalle comes in motivated from last year's lost to Dwenger in overtime at their place, and also one of the best teams in Ohio, which is uh, not exactly the worst football state in the world. No doubt. That was the number three team in Division Two over there. And, they, you know, that's, uh, they come from the, from the Cincinnati area that's got some powerhouses in Elder and St. X and Moeller. Uh, so I don't, I don't really see that big of a problem from last week. Then again, the turnovers, like you mentioned, are a problem. This isn't a team that had to get on a bus and go three and a half hours to a game. It was going over to Zollner. You know, so it was in their comfort zone, and, and a little bit of both. I think a little bit of uh, uh, uncharacteristic mistakes for Bishop Dwanger, but also um, LaSalle forcing a lot, uh, some mistakes as well. So, but the, they get no rest now. All of a sudden, they got to come out against Wayne and really kind of um, kind of correct a lot of mistakes. But I expect a, a better looking Dwanger team, more polished on Friday night. 